Imagine you're standing in front of the 160 floor Burj Khalifa in the middle of a bustling Dubai city on a sunny day. Magnificent, right? Now imagine 10 Burj Khalifas stacked on top of each other by length. That is almost as tall as Mount Everest is, with the highest peak still inching taller by a small margin. But did you know that the tallest peak on our planet is actually one third compared to the highest peak on Mars? Well, the largest mountain on Earth may well be just a speck compared to the massive peaks scientists have found scattered across different planets in the solar system. Stay tuned as we blow your mind with this explosive list of volcanoes and mountains that stand tallest within and beyond our home planet. Number 9. Mauna Kea Would you be surprised if we told you that there's actually a Hawaiian volcano taller than Mount Everest? You probably wouldn't believe us, but Mauna Kea is actually a dormant volcano, which if you measure from its base to peak, is actually taller than Mount Everest. This might be confusing, because when we consider height of a peak above the sea level, Everest clearly stands taller at about 5.5 miles vertical. The catch here is that Mauna Kea's base is actually submerged underwater, forming the foundation of the island of Hawaii. So, from its underwater base, it is actually 6.2 miles tall, which makes it the tallest natural structure above or below sea level. Many people may not know that Mauna Kea's summit is actually one of the best places for observatories, because the exceptionally dark skies at Mauna Kea's summit are perfect for stargazing. Number 8. Elysium Mons This Martian volcano is a big fish in a little pond, metaphorically speaking. It is the tallest volcano in the Elysium Planitia, a region in the eastern hemisphere of Mars, which is its second largest volcanic system. It stands at 41,000 feet above its base, and about 46,000 feet above the Martian datum, making it the third tallest Martian mountain in terms of relief and the fourth highest in elevation. First discovered by the orbiting Mariner 9 in 1972, it has a base diameter of 149 miles and could be the key to discovering the mystery of the red planet's past. At the bottom of Elysium Mons are two other volcanoes, Hecates Tholus to the north and Albor Tholus to the south. Fun fact, in 2005, a photo taken by the Mars Express spacecraft actually showed that there could be ash-covered water ice around the volcano. Interestingly, it is thought to be the remains of water floods from the Cerberus fossae fissures from about 2 to 10 million years ago. Number 7. Pavanes Mons Have you ever heard of a peacock-themed mountain? Well, on the Martian equator, Pavanes Mons is the shortest of the three volcanoes that make up the Tharsis Montes, and the name translated from Latin literally means Peacock Mountain. Known as a home to many glaciers, it was discovered by Mariner 9 in 1971. It is a shield volcano, and the height from the base to the peak is 6.8 miles. It has a very low slope that only averages about 4 degrees, and at the summit, there is a 3 mile deep caldera. If you're a fan of the Flaming Lips, you might recognize the name from the song Approaching Pavanis Mons by Balloon. Also, fans of science fiction novels might recall that in Kim Stanley Robinson's Mars trilogy of novels, the city of Sheffield stands at the base of this mountain. Number 6. Arsia Mons Again, a hot favorite with budding science fiction authors, this is the second tallest volcano from the Tharsis Montes cluster of volcanoes on the Martian equator. Based on the discovery of certain geological features, scientists think that Arsia Mons may be home to many glaciers as well. It has a diameter of 270 miles and reaches 12 miles high with a 72 mile wide summit. Except for Olympus Mons, it is the biggest volcano by volume and is actually 30 times the volume of Mauna Loa in Hawaii. As of 2007, seven putative cave entrances have been identified in satellite imagery of the flanks of Arsia Mons. They have been informally dubbed Dina, Chloe, Wendy, Annie, Abby, Nikki, and Jeannie, and resemble skylights formed by the collapse of lava tube ceilings. Number 5. Boasale Montes If Mount Everest had an interplanetary cousin, it would be Boasale Montes. It's located on Io, the fourth largest and innermost moon of Jupiter, and it's actually created from tectonic movements, much like the Himalayas, rather than volcanic eruption. 
The mountain got its name from a cave in the Greek mythology where Epiphus, a son of Zeus, was born. From base to peak, it reaches 10.6 miles high and is just one of 150 discovered mountains on Io's surface. Buasal Montes is just one of three mountains connected by a raised plain located on the Pele Plume deposit. Number 4. Ascreus Mons On the surface of Mars lies a mountain so tall that it is visible even through a dust storm surrounding the entire planet. Of three shield volcanoes on the equator, Ascreus Mons is the largest, with its summit being about 18 kilometers above the Martian datum. It was discovered by the Mariner 9 spacecraft in 1971, and because it was the northernmost spot visible during the dust storm, it came to be widely known as the North Spot before its official nomenclature. Number 3. Equatorial Ridge of Iapetus With a crater looking straight like the splitting image of the Death Star from Star Wars, Saturn's moon Iapetus is definitely a weird one. However, we are focusing on its equatorial ridge, where some peaks reach over 12 miles high, making Iapetus look like a walnut. A mystery till date, scientists aren't quite sure how the ridge formed. There are several theories on its formation though. Firstly, it could be caused by a previous ring system. Secondly, it might have occurred due to an ancient convective term. Thirdly, it could be composed of icy material pushed up from underneath. And finally, it could be the result from the moon spinning more rapidly when it was younger. Iapetus is named after the Greek Titan, as suggested by John Herschel that all of Saturn's moons should be named after the Titans from mythology. Number 2. Rea Silvia Mons Number 2 on our list is a surprise entry. Not from any planetary body or moon, this massive mountain is actually situated atop an asteroid. Rea Silvia Mons, on the asteroid Vesta, sits at the center of a 300-mile-wide crater, one of the largest in the solar system. Named after the mythological mother of the founders of Rome, it rises 14.2 miles high. If research proves correct, then the impact crater resulting in Rea Silva's formation dates back to over 1 billion years ago. Rea Silva Mons sometimes gets named the tallest peak in the solar system, but even with satellites and spacecraft monitoring faraway interstellar bodies, it is difficult to measure the minuscule differences which sometimes puts it behind number one on our list. Number 1. Olympus Mons If you take the state of Arizona and make it about thrice as tall as Mount Everest, you'd probably get a rough idea of how big the tallest mountain of the solar system actually is. Standing tall at 21.9 kilometers above the Martian datum, it measures 374 miles in diameter. Located near the Tharsis Montes volcanic systems, it is named after the Greek abode of the gods. Because of its size and shallow slopes, an observer standing on the surface of Mars would be unable to notice that they're standing in front of Olympus Mons or get a correct mental image of the mountain.